those of you who don't know me, Drew Stacy, first place bank. I'm just going to call it, I just call it a large rehab. I can tell you between, between Sean and I, we have probably cleaned out all the houses sitting in Indian Hill just doing these loans. I am dead serious because you're going to figure out how they work here in a second. It is almost exactly like that split loan. We essentially use the split loan product. But if somebody has a house that I'm going to do the purchase over here, they're going to, it's a $550,000 house that needs, you know, let's say, you know, $150,000 worth of work put into it. So this time I'm going to add them up correctly. <laughs> 700. All right? You're going to notice it's kind of like a 203K. They don't work any different. What I'm going to do on this one right here, Jumbo will not take any product like this. They will not do any re purchase rehab work. So you guys are going to do your contract for 550. Generally in these cases though, other than the 203K, these people do have an idea that they have needed this done. So we can get these done a lot faster. I'm going to do a 417 front loan. You know, these kind of people generally tend to put 20% down. Okay, so we'll say they do. They can only put 10 if they'd like. Let's put that up here. But let's say they put 20%, uh, so it's at 140000 So I'll do the 417. And I'm not really sure on the math on this one. Doing it real quick. And $170,000 left. We will fund the rest of this in an account for them. They're done. Houses were sitting. I can even name you the streets. On Awanasa, there was three. I did two of them. Sean did the other one. <laughs> sitting there because no one would fund the amount needed. And the people didn't want to come out out of pocket money. Whether they had the money or not, they want to put the risk on the bank if they can. I don't blame them. Someone's willing to take the risk. So, those are the kind of loans we would do. And then, neighbor, what were the, what were the homes surrounding it? 800, 900,000? We, we did one of these deals and got the appraisal back 950. They made out pretty well. We refi them later. You know, and it works the same thing. Let's do proxy this. We're done talking about that one. Um, Somebody has a house, 350. It needs a lot of work. It needs 150. Now, so we're looking at a total $500,000 deal. On this kind of deal, they're putting 20% down. Great. Well, they're at a 417 deal already. They're putting 10% down. Fine. They're going to be at a 400 plus 50,000. Here's the only issue with these. These are not as easy to appraise out as FHA, two or three guys. So you got to be careful. If, you know, I won't name any areas, but if someone were to buy a house in an area that wasn't so great for 100000 and put 300000 into it, well, one, I probably don't want to do that one. That's way too much over the original principle. But let's keep it more realistic. They're going to buy a $50,000 house, and they're going to put 100000 into it. I don't want to use that either. They're going to use a $100,000 house, and they're going to put 70,000 into it, all right? The likelihood of that thing appraising out at 170, probably not that great. It's just not, it's a real tough appraisal. I mean, we do them a lot around here in, in uh, you know, Mount Lookout. The $220,000 house, they want to put 70 grand into it, they don't always appraise that at 300. But it's tough when you get an idea. A lot of, a lot of areas you deal with, things like that. So these are obviously your ones. That's why I call them the large rehab deals, because generally in the in the in the those kind of areas where you see those kind of houses, where like you said, the neighbors are going to have an eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, million dollar house next door. Those are the easier ones to get done. So that's why we focus on those a little bit more, because these here, even when I tell them, listen, this is probably not going to happen. I'll be honest with you up front. This, maybe we have a 50-50 shot at this. Clients think it's a ninety-five percent shot, and it just doesn't work out that way. You know, I try to be as honest and upfront. They have an inflated head. value of their neighborhood. They have an inflated value in their head. Right. Right. I don't know what the what the you know. I'm not good with the values. That's not what I do. That's what you guys do. I just tell them off of my track record. 
you know, I've, I've done deals here before, you know, hey, it may work out, it may not. So let's just see before you give the builder any money, let's get the appraisal, get your contract together, and let's see how it comes back. And that's how those work. You know, honestly, and, and most of these that we do are in, you know, I mean, they're all over, but you know, the majority are in your Indian Hill, Hyde Park, not Lookout, Anderson seems to be a pretty solid area for stuff like that. You know, Madeira, Marymount, you guys, you know, you guys are the realtors, you guys know. But they work in the other areas too. It's just, it's not as easy to get a, you know, get a value out of a Newport as it is out of a Hyde Park. It's just not. And I will be bold when I say this. There is no other lender in town that can close anywhere even remotely close to as fast as we can if you guys need it done. For those of you who don't know me, Drew Stacy, First Place Bank. 